out there. Uh, today we're going to be doing a tone test of a uh, new Paragram guitar. Uh, you may have seen my previous video. Uh, it is a uh, custom built for me uh, with Nelly P90s. Uh, you can go back and check out that video at some point and kind of see a lot of the specs of this. But today I wanted to give you a tone test of how this guitar sounds uh, with a little bit better recording quality than the previous video. Uh, I'm sure the, the video quality of this will kind of suck, uh, but uh, hopefully with uh, some better microphones here, things will sound a little bit, little bit better and you have an honest idea of what this thing is capable of. Um, that being said, let me just run you through a few things. Uh, one, I'm not important and I'm not trying to sell myself. Uh, I'm a terrible guitar player and I'm lazy and that's not the point of this. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that will do guitar reviews and they will give you an incredibly spit polished, uh, very uh, produced video where they've got backing tracks and drums and lots of modulation and compression and everything that honestly just sucks what the honest sound of the guitar is out of uh, the video. And I honestly, that just turns me off and it may turn you off as well. If you found this guitar in a guitar shop somewhere, or, or hopefully you ordered it from, uh, from Paragram themselves, uh, then, you know, you should probably have an idea of what it's going to sound like if you plug it directly into an amplifier. That being said, uh, I am just going to be playing this straight through. Uh, I'm recording this directly from, uh, uh, First samples I want to play are clean tones, uh, neck, bridge, middle, uh, to give you an idea of what these P90s sound like in this Ash Body guitar. Uh, the only things that I'm going to run as far as effects on this are going to be a uh, Keeley uh, Overdrive, uh, the White Sands Ultra Deluxe, or excuse me, the Lux Drive, uh, set on the clean setting, uh, even though I do prefer the Sandy, but uh, like I said, I'm just going to try and give you the most honest sound. Just give you a little bit of, of an idea of what the bite sounds like with some overdrive. And then, because as we all know, uh, fuzz goes with P90s pretty much about the same way that biscuits go with gravy, uh, I do want to give you some fuzz tones out of that. And for that, I'm going to be using a fuzz hugger algal bloom uh, to give you an idea of what that sounds like. Uh, yeah, that that's a little bit... Uh, you know, that, that's definitely going to be covering up the sound a little bit, but uh, it's good to understand the responsiveness of what these, uh, what this guitar is going to sound like with uh, fuzz added to it. Um, uh, as far as amplifiers concerned, uh, it's rather bright right here because it, it glows out of its little window, but uh, this is actually a, a Mojo Tone Mount Pilot uh, built right here in North Carolina uh, out of Burgall. Uh, it's a uh, 22 watt uh, amplifier head um, run on uh, 6v6s. Uh, probably the closest thing you can compare it to would be a uh, Vox uh, amplifier, I suppose. Um, but it's a very, very cl uh, clean sounding head. Uh, takes pedals extremely well. I love it. It's a good amplifier. I chose this of, of the amplifiers that I have just because it's going to have a very uh, straightforward, honest tone to it as well, so that it, you know, you're not getting like that ultra Fender vibe that you get through a lot of their amplifiers. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I do love some Fender amplifiers uh, and that sound, but just as far as trying to go for a, you know, straight, honest, you know, uncolored sound, this is a really good one. And the cab is actually featuring a Mojo Tone Greyhound speaker as well, um, so. I, I enjoy this setup too. So, um, here we go. I just want to give you the uh, the clean sound first. Okay, now we can turn the amplifier on and see what it actually sounds like. A nice E minor there. Why don't we give you something that's uh, a little more happy? Let's give you a G. Oh, I hope it's stayed tuned. Give me one second. I'm going to turn this tuner on and make sure that everything is going out right because I didn't love that too much.
There's the culprit. Yeah. So that sounds about right. <clears throat> we'll go with that. So anyway, um, why don't I start you out? Uh, I'm dialing back my volume just a smidge, uh, but leaving the tone pretty much dimed out uh, at 10, uh, just so that you know you don't get the, the, the full force, uh, which is the way a lot of people like to play guitars. Um, especially if they're live and gigging, you need that little bit of extra volume to cut through. You've got it right there at your fingers. You know, sound man's falling asleep at the wheel or whatnot. You've got, you know, a li you've got a little bit of your own power still left in your hands. It's about having to thrash strings too badly. So anyway, let's check out the uh, neck pickup right here. We're just going to go a G real fast. Not too bad. And let's try the bridge pickup. brighter, a little chimier, in the middle, decent blend. Now, uh, one of the things about uh, why I chose the McNeely pickups to go into this was the fact that, uh, as a set, this is a uh, Alnico 5 magnet, and this is a lower output Alnico 4. Uh, and with that in mind, when you're playing the uh, middle position like I just did, uh, you're not likely to have your bridge pickup, which normally would sound hotter, try and drown out your neck pickup. Um, so that's that's the way that is. Let's uh, let's give you a little bit of a, of a playing sample here and, and give you an idea of, of what this thing is capable of. Um, I'll kind of bounce between the positions just to, to give you a broad idea of, of how things sound going through music here. <laughs> live so I'm not going to bother editing out that mistake but I just gave you a quick run of what the three positions sound like it went from bridge to middle to neck so um, let's see what it sounds like with just a little bit of overdrive to it I'm not putting a whole ton on there and I kind of want to keep everything sitting uh, sitting pretty normal as far as the levels are concerned so um, you wouldn't believe how much effort this goes into just trying to get all this set up and that's not even including editing because guess what I'm not doing any of that I, don't, I have more important things to do with my time I'm not about trying to sell myself I'm trying to tell you about what this guitar sounds like so you can make an honest buying purchase later on in time so a little bit of overdrive here uh, we're gonna start out on the neck pickup again and I'll try and move my way down as we go so.
so there we go with overdrive. Um, sounds nice. Sounds a little bit greedy there. Um, uh, the neck, the, the pickup support is kind of pretty well. Um, tell you what, I'm going to give you a little bit more of the overdrive and just let you know, kind of get an idea more what it sounds like with the volume dimed out and uh, playing a little bit of lead. So. <laughs> Again, cut that off. Uh, let's see. Um, so now I guess we can move on to uh, hearing what the fuzz tones sound like with this. Hmm. I want to play. I just wanted to put the choke on there for a little bit. Yeah, these pickups react really, really well with uh, with fuzz. That's for sure. Um, so far, I'm, I've been very, very pleased with this guitar overall. Uh, about the only issues I think I've had with it, just to kind of add on to uh, the more of, of my previous review of this, was the fact that. Uh, uh, it took me a little while to get used to locking tuners. I've never had those two. I've had to really ratchet those down hard to get them to stay in a place. Um, and I think I'm probably going to replace the strings that came with this guitar. Um, uh, normally I play a, a couple of brands that I, I know and trust. These guys were really slinky. Uh, they it took a long time to break them in to keep them in the staying tune. As you saw earlier, I, I still have to sit there and like tune a little bit here and there, for sure. And I've been playing guitar, guitar for a few days now. So, um, uh, that being said, um, uh, I've I've enjoyed this. Um, uh, this this guitar is, is definitely very very well made, extremely solid, um, really good sustain on it too. That's 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 pretty pretty solid lengthy amount of time there. It's still going. I can still hear it at a low bedroom volume here. So uh, overall, I've I'm I've been very pleased with this. Um, let me show you, let me do a little bit more of the the clean stuff here, just to um, just just give you an idea. I want to dial back some of the the tr uh, tone on this. Uh, made sure that there was a good um, orange drop. Uh, in here to, to make sure that I had a tone tone knob that was uh, worth my worth my time. So.
I think I, I, I do I do like uh, Mean Ely brands. Uh, I've been sold by these pickups alone. Uh, I was taking a chance on them for sure uh, when I, I selected them because there was absolutely no sound samples out there. Uh, on their website, uh, which I'll link in the description, uh, like they had sound samples and video samples where other people tested other products of theirs, but not their P90s, uh, which I found very surprising. And I could find next to nothing on their, um, of, of information where other people had bought them. So I don't know if it's a fairly new product. I figured they've probably been making them for a while. Um, uh, I did talk with uh, the owner of the company via email, and he got back to me very quickly with this information. Um, he was, you know, very you know, forthright on, on everything, and and I was uh, I was I was pleased with that communication with him. So um, I, I took a shot with it, and as far as I know, this is probably the only sound test sound test out there for these pickups. So um, uh, they I think they were running on their website for about like ninety dollars a set or something like that. Maybe that was per pickup. I forget. You have to go check yourself. Um, but, uh, yeah, not terribly expensive. They are not noiseless pickups. They will make noise, uh, coming out of an amplifier. They are straight up just P90s. So bear that in mind. They will not be like dead quiet. Um, there are other brands out there that obviously do make very good, uh, quiet, uh, noiseless pickups. Um, but that's that's entirely up to you I just went with this because it seemed like it was a pretty good idea uh, and I don't really mind I don't gig clearly I'm not good enough of a guitar player to be a gigging guitar player I don't have the time to practice nor do I have a band anything like that um, so a little bit of extra amp noise doesn't really bother me too much so anyway uh, that's my review I hope you enjoyed it um, all things considered I am nobody important whatsoever uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, and uh, go check out some of these fine, fine products, be it at the internet, or uh, uh, go contact them yourselves. Um, maybe you can find them at a guitar shop near you. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. They're kind of uh, kind of young, kind of uh, kind of rare to, to come across, but uh, you might get lucky. We'll see. So have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.